Morning. Uh, my name is Larry, if you're new to the channel. I'm camping here south of Wickenburg, Arizona. In fact, I was here last video, but um, I'm just still here. I just really enjoy it and decided to stay here a few more days. We're going to end up, after breakfast, taking the Geo Tracker out on some 4x4 trails out here. I was thinking about it and since I'm gonna probably incorporate using this geo tracker a little bit more on the videos I decided to go ahead and pay for a subscription to onyx maps um, it's not bad it's only like $30 for a whole year and I figure $30 is better than getting stranded or lost out in the middle of the desert so I went ahead and went that route let me show you uh, now what I get to see whenever I'm out on these trails so I just have this hooked up to my phone um, just have a little jack plugged in and then it's plugged into the radio and then uh, my maps come up and I know there's a little bit of a glare but it's pretty nice like there's us right here and I'm able to move the map around and I have a pre-guided this little black line right here is a pre-guided path that we're going to go on today so then it just kind of falls along that line and then I know that I'm on the right path and uh, also know how to get back easily so I'm pretty excited about this this is gonna be the first time like I said I've ever used it beautiful out here right now um, it's probably like mid to upper 60s I think the high is only supposed to be 71 and there's a nice breeze just a perfect day I kind of wish I would have taken the top off of the tracker but um, that's all right got the windows down still enjoying it well it looks like we got a hill here <laughs> got us a gate here um if you guys ever see these gates when you're out off-roading you're able to go through them they just have them because um i don't know very i don't know if various reasons i assumed to, to mark state trust land versus blm land and also um, sometimes they run cattle out here people can like i guess rent the land the public land to be able to run their cattle on. So so all you have to do is just open it, drive through it, and then uh, shut it. And they're pretty easy. Usually you just lift that wire like that. Carry it out of the way and that's it. And there you go, it's back. Let's keep going down the trail. Hey bud. Oh, I love this trail. I mean, it's not real long, but I like all these little um, hill climbs like this up here. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but it's fun, you know, still. Ugh. I 
I usually, whenever I'm filming, I always talk about things that are relevant to whatever I'm filming, but uh, I don't usually ever say any backstories on anything, and I, uh, I don't know why this, I just kind of thought of this, but, you know, the reason why I have this geo tracker, I used to have a friend, I don't know if he even watches the channel, I don't even know, I think last time I heard he's going to move out of the country, but uh, he, one time, years ago, invited me and my ex, which was my girlfriend at the time, to go out on his boat. He had just gotten a boat, and uh, no offense, but if he's listening, but that boat sucked. It was so old, and we we're sitting on like the fuel tank with a piece of plywood, and uh, the driver's seat fell off, so he was using a milk crate, and uh, it, it was it was horrible. But the point of it is, is that we ended up having so much fun on the lake that day that it just kind of changed my whole mindset on things that I don't need an expensive boat and I don't need an expensive off-road truck or anything like that to go have fun I just feel like it's reliable enough to come out here and just have fun and I don't have to worry about it if I break it or wreck it or scratch it or anything I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff I can just just enjoy the day for what it is and not have to stress, you know? So we're at the location, kinda, I mean, I guess it's close we're gonna get to the location, but I just pulled over here and I happened to notice a little cave off to the side over here. Um, it worries me because there's a little path that leads into it. So I hope there's not like a mountain lion or something in there. I don't see anything. It's something probably is living in there, but um, you can see the trail. I don't know how deep in that goes. Something's probably burrowing in there at night. All right, so we're here. Let me shut off the truck. And, and the fan. And I think we're here, perfect timing. Uh, check this out. What time just flies when you're out here? It's already almost four o'clock and it gets dark about 5.36, somewhere in there. I feel a little bit more confident now that we can stay out just a little bit longer now that we have these maps to go off of. So we're just gonna keep going on to the next destination. Feel like we're gonna tip over. Okay. <laughs> Dang, I kind of want to go up there, but it's saying we need to go that way. Yeah, let's just see what's up here.
boy. <laughs> I gotta get out and look at this. So I went out and walked it and it looks fun. It doesn't look impossible. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do it. Um, there's no big steep rocks, but there is a, a chance that we could slide quite a ways, but let's take it easy. It's not bad, we're not sliding, we're good. Yeah, we got it. side shoot trail here whatever it is um, has been a blast I think this goes into the same direction as the other road so we don't have to turn around maybe this is just a little bit more of a funner route Sun's gonna go down right below that mountain here probably in the next few minutes. It's gonna get colder and a little shadier back here. We gotta hurry up. We got a couple more miles to go before we get to the next location. Oh no. Wow, that was deeper than it looked. <laughs> I think we're about out to the main trail. If, if you want to call it the main trail, the trail that we were supposed to be on. That's a bummer. Uh, that's the way we have to go is up this hill and uh, I just don't think the tracker is going to make it. Not without breaking something. Uh, and then the gravel is just so loose that the tires are spinning and um, it's almost like I'm not even in four wheel drive but I'm in four wheel low. But uh, who knows, hopefully it's not malfunctioning but I think it's just the fact that the, the rocks are so loose. So it's going to be dark in about an hour. And I don't want to have to like rush to get back. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and turn around. I, I think, I think I met my match on this trail. And the second location was just kind of another like rock formation thing. And it's all good. Who knows? There'll be more destinations to go to in the future. Let's uh, just head back to camp. So I'm trying to go back on the other trail the one that like the main trail instead of going the way that i came uh figuring it's going to be easier but uh i've just been fighting it this trail this side is the hard trail no wonder they had the other side because even though that one was a little bit more difficult than most of the trails um it seems to be quite a bit easier than this side and this is probably the biggest obstacle so that i'm sitting in front of right now so we're going to try to hit it and hopefully we can get out because, um, you know, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Just hopefully we can get out of it. <laughs> okay, I got the camera out there to get a better view from the outside, but that's what we got to go up right here. Um, I'm going to try to just hit it going this way and then up into that little cut. And hopefully the four-wheel drive is working because we're going to need it right there. 
So let's check it out. Well, that's not a good sign. Hopefully that's not gonna be us. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it, which really sucks. It means I gotta back all the way down this road. Um, I just can't seem to get over that first hump and I'm afraid that once I get into that hole, it's such like big loose rock that I'm just worried I'm gonna get stuck and then not be able to get back out. So I guess I gotta back down the road. Won't be the first time. <laughs> Let's try to back down here. This is gonna take a while. I'll get back with you guys. Found a place to turn around. I just gotta find that other trail that we came up and just go back that way because I know I can do that. It was kind of difficult, but not like that difficult. In situations like this, where uh, you know, sun's going down, I'm kind of running out of options here. Uh, you just best thing is just to stay calm because freaking out ain't gonna help anything not gonna lie I mean my heart's racing a little bit more than usual just because I'm kind of curious about this four-wheel drive uh, because if it doesn't work I don't know if we can get out of here um, I mean I, I have cell phone service I can call for help I have stuff if I have to stay the night out here or if I have to walk back, I can do all that stuff, that's fine, but uh, I just prefer to get the truck out of here. I don't wanna have to leave it. All right, I'm gonna come back with you guys. I gotta figure out where this other turn off's at. All right, I'm back on the that little side chute. Ah! Dang, cactus stuck in my back. All right, we're back on this side chute, so um, as long as we can get back out of this, then we'll be back on trails that we should be able to manage a lot easier. just I guess because I don't have lockers and when the wheels and the suspension are just articulated like that I'm just this is not that kind of four-wheel drive rig this is more just for trails kind of like what we're on I think wow look at that take in that beauty the sun going down behind that peak Still, the map's going, even though it's kind of glitching out a little bit. <laughs> Not sure why, but for the most part, still got a map. I gotta stop the video here just for a moment and explain something. So we were going up the main trail towards our destination, and that's where we got stuck and had to turn around. Um, I turned around and I started heading back on the what was selected as the main trail. And that's where we just came from and I couldn't make it back up that direction either. 
Um, the part that I did not videotape that I'm trying to uh, fill in the gap here is, is that I went down that side chute trail, the one that we originally went down. And if you remember that really steep hill that I was worried about sliding, I don't know why I never thought about having to go back up it. So I made a bad mistake at that point. Uh, I guess I figured that we were heading down a trail that had multiple different ways out. So I didn't figure I'd have to go back up that direction. But I couldn't make it up that way or I don't think I could have made it up that way. So I got on my Onyx maps and I found one final way out and I was hoping that it was going to be easy but it ended up not being as easy as I was hoping as you'll see right here. Look, here's the problem at this point. Uh, I had to go down that. This is a third option out and I've already pre-walked it. And right now this is the last, hopefully the last obstacle I have to go over. And then it gets me into um, a wash and uh, I'm a little nervous right now. Uh, it gets me into a wash and then it, the wash can't get much worse than that, I don't think. So that should take us right out to the main road, at least via maps. Uh, the, the way that I was going, I didn't record it, but I just don't remember the hill being that steep and it was just loose gravel. And I guess it's just got me shook up from that other hill or the other rock that I couldn't climb over. I was just worried about getting like all the way up it and not being able to make it. So this is our last and final option out of here. I had to do that. Um, obviously I don't want to do that, but it was well thought out as much as I could think it out and we didn't flip. So no harm no foul at this point now let's just get back into this wash bottom here and hopefully it'll just be a smooth ride out of here all right as you can see it is getting dark i'm glad we turned around when we did and here's the wash so hopefully it's just smooth like this on the, all the way the rest of the way back out to the main road I tell you right now, I could already see the comments about being unsafe and doing something like that. But you know, you just don't know when you're off-roading until you're actually on the trail. Um, and then you just, sometimes you gotta just make do with what you got and you're trying to play the safest options and sometimes they're not safe, you know? But we were wearing, so I was wearing seat belts. I was holding Mason, had the windows up so nobody flies out. So as safe as I could do it, you know? Oh, I hope it's like this the rest of the way out. I didn't walk this entire road. I did walk down around the corner and found that I was in a wash or that I was going to be in a wash. I just, I didn't walk this entire way. I don't like leaving Mason that long in the car. Not that there's people out here, but you never know. All right, well, I'll let you guys know if we make it to the main road. I know you can barely see me, but um, we made it back to the main road luckily um thank goodness for the maps honestly 
I mean, I don't know if the map got me in trouble or if the map saved my butt or both. But um, I'm just so thankful that we made it back to the main road. Anyways, uh, I think we're about a mile away from camp, so I'll see you guys back at camp. Home sweet home. So I have a pretty special dinner planned. Um, it's actually called The Last Few Things I Have Left in My Cabinet. Just gotta fry up some hamburger, throw a little onion, and then I got a can of peas and carrots and some cheese. Go ahead and get that pan heating up. Fry up this hamburger. I don't normally like buying hamburger that's in these pouches. I don't know. I'm I'm an organic, grass-fed beef kind of guy, but uh, I'm in a small town, so I kind of had to go to the dollar store because I had Mason. Can't really leave him in the geo tracker because I don't trust it running by itself it doesn't have air conditioning and all that stuff so I had to just go to a little small store a little dollar store run in and grab a couple things right. toss that in there get a little gourmet beef seasoning so we'll just turn this dollar store hamburger into gourmet beef just that easy All right, I'm gonna let this brown up. I'll get back with you guys. This is smelling so good. Uh, I wanted to clarify something. I, I worded something wrong in the last video. Uh, I had mentioned that the channel got a new logo. And uh, the part that I ordered wrong was I said uh, that I had my friend design it for the channel and that's not entirely accurate i actually called him up because he owns a company um, in another state that does that type of thing and he designed another logo for me in the past so i called him up to see if he could design this logo for this channel because i know he's good at his job you know and he, he does great work he refused to take my money he wanted to do it as a gift just as something really nice that the channel could to have you know moving forward and um i just i couldn't be happier that he did something like that and just I, I'm so blessed that I have friends that that are just I don't know awesome friends you know um, and I did I didn't want to word it in a way before that sounded like I paid him to do it or anything he did it as a gift and I'm just so appreciative of it let's go ahead and throw some garlic in here now that's we're getting towards the end it's starting to brown up Get that in there and heck we might as well go ahead and throw in the peas and carrots. Gotta have your vegetables. Alright, we got the spatula, but I'll go back out and get it. That actually looks oddly delicious in my opinion and it smells really good. It looks like something you get out of an elementary school lunch or something, but um, we'll see what it tastes like. I actually had somebody ask me where I got these bowls and uh, I would like to put a link or something that helps that subscriber find it, but um, actually got all this stainless wear at uh, Goodwill, so next to nothing. Because if you buy this online, it's pretty pricey. Probably $10 a bowl or so. You can get them online, but shoot, why not get them 
used actually i think that's enough they're just dishes they're stainless they clean up it's not bad i don't know if i'd make it on purpose but it's not bad i wanted to ask you guys um the bathroom needs remodeled in this camper and I don't have a whole lot of free time, believe it or not, because the channel takes up a lot of my time, but, uh, I'm kind of wondering if you guys would want to see a bathroom remodel video. That way I can just get it done in like one week. I can post it on one video for you guys and then, um, I can have it done. Ultimately, that's probably what I'm going to do, but I'm kind of asking if you guys would like to see the video. If you, if nobody really wants to see it. I'm not even going to waste my time. We'll just come up with a better idea. But um, it's a very small bathroom. I feel like it'll look really good when it's all done. But um, I don't know. Just let me know. Rocco decided to go all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> I'll see if I can coax her to come back for us here. Come on, buddy. Rocco's mountain climbing, Mason. You want to try mountain climbing next? <laughs> he just freezes. He's like, no, let's not try that. <laughs> Morning, bud. Sleep pretty good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to go outside and go for a walk? <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna get you. You wanna go for a walk, buddy? Oh, we're going for a run? <laughs> You're running fast, bud. Oh, you just jumped over that ditch. Yeah, that bush looks good to pee on. <laughs> Nothing I fancy more than reading a good book in the morning. I'm actually just kidding. Uh, I have just been on social media like everybody else and then reading your guys' comments i just i love doing that it just cheers me up every morning um but that and then the fact that here lately he's been wanting to do these like runs like that and he didn't do it as much as he's been doing it um yesterday man we ran like way down the road and back and obviously it makes you feel better and, and i know he feels better because he comes back and he passes out and he'll sleep and his little feet are running when he's sleeping so you know he's dreaming about it um, i just think it's cute and it always just gets me woke up and moving better than coffee even though i you know still drink coffee every day <laughs> somebody looks tired had a big run this morning huh <laughs> might be wondering if I'm uh, eating my breakfast on a hot dog bun and yeah I am it was just the last piece of bread so I wanted to use it up didn't want to let it go to waste bread's bread right
Well, I'm gonna finish up my breakfast here, and then, like I said, I gotta pack up, head into town. Uh, I'm gonna be out of the camper for a few days and visiting family, so uh, just looking forward to that. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.